good morning everybody this is session well it's the first session of the second block of the maximum strength phase so we're still in maximum strength we're still trying to um, increase that intensity and the way that we're going to do it on the core session is we're just gonna you can use weights um, but it's kind of like enough for you so you don't want it too heavy too um, too much and only on some of the exercises so um, <laughs> There might not be any exercises. I'm just thinking now, actually. <laughs> There's a little bit maybe on the single leg reach outs um, that, where you might want to wait. But otherwise, um, we won't use weights on our core session. But we will have resistance. And then we're trying to keep that resistance each week. And we're just going to increase the, um, the time that we're doing it for. Um, it's only going from 20 to 30 seconds. But the intensity is high. For the weight sessions, we are going to increase the weight and keep the reps the same each session. Okay, before we begin today's session, if you have um, your cords handy, then just put them in the door at knee height. So that's for the first exercise. So mine are already in there at knee height. Okay, and we're going to begin. Let's get started. So we're going to start at the edge of the mat, on the, at the end of the mat rather. And we're just going to bend down to the floor and walk our hands forward. So stick that bum out as you are winning that. Reach those hands out in front. And we're going to go into a cobra. So rest your hips on the floor, feet on the floor, and looking up to the sky if you can. And then we're going to go into that downward dog and pass through that and walk our hands back to the feet and stand up. So we're going to do that five times. In your own time, and just feeling that lower back and then the upper back, nice stretch through two, three. So reaching out nice and tall as you lie onto the floor, four. And then final one, number five. And then back up. Okay, we can then get onto the floor. We're just going to do the um, cat count, which is what we've been doing the last three sessions. Nice stretch of the back and the low back as well as the upper back. So the thoracic and the lumbar sat by. So in all fours, and we're just going to take a deep breath in and drop the stomach to the floor. And as you exhale, rounding those shoulders, trying to separate the shoulder blades. Do this with your own breath. And we're going to do five. Okay, and once you've done those five, if you should take a little seat on your backside, we're going to do some happy hips, just making sure we're nice and mobile from the weekend. So feet out, wider than your mat, and we're just going to sit up nice and tall. So dropping those knees down to the side, one goes straight down, so it's down the centre, and the other one goes up to the side, and then back up, and the same with the other one. So that one that goes down the centre is in line with the hip and just notice so here you're not looking to try and stretch it further than it needs to go you're just trying to notice if one side is maybe a little bit tighter than the, than the other <clears throat> I definitely noticed that my right side is a little bit more tired than the, uh, tighter than the left which is frustrating. I think that is something to do with my cleats on my bike, I'm sure. So I still need to sort that out. Okay, once we've done that a little bit, we're going to stay on our backs here, bring the feet in and just lie on your back. So for those of you who are here for the first time, we're just trying to find the neutral pelvis. So we're trying to close the back onto the 
floor here. So if we just do a bit of the cat cow kind of motion, so arching and um, rounding. If you arch your back, you have, can get space between your back and the floor and your hips are quite pointy, pointy sticking up to the floor, to the ceiling. So what we want to do is draw the belly button in towards the spine, bring the back so that it's closing that gap. So you couldn't put your finger there and you've got flat hips. This is your neutral pelvis. So when we're in that position, you want to keep that position, keep it nice and tight, bring the knees up, and we're doing a dead, dead bug toe taps or heel taps rather. So we're just going to go from that, keeping that back on the floor and then just touch the floor with your heels. Nice and slowly and controlled. Keeping the back on the floor. As soon as I lift or I feel like my back is lifting off the floor, I have a clunk in my hip. So just notice what happens if you do that. You can have your hands above your head towards the ceiling if you want and if this is easy and you're not feeling anything then you could straighten those legs out so later on in the actual session itself we're doing dead bugs so you can regress to heel taps or you can progress to straighten those legs out either way you have to keep your back on the floor and keep the pelvis neutral um, okay i think we're done there we can roll up Looking at that time, we'll just do a little bit of a wide stance here and then we'll do some. So we're trying to push the hips back and out, keeping the legs straight so we get a nice stretch on the inner thigh here, the adductors. Yeah, so you feel that stretch. Ah, I'm getting cramp in my toes. <laughs> oh, in my foot. So did a run this morning and that's why I think. Right, okay. So once we've done those a few times, we'll then move those into glides. So we're just gliding from one side. So we're deepening that stretch of the adductors, pushing that those hips back. We'll just do one more on each side. Okay, I'm gonna finish off with the peacock stance. I know we do this a lot. This is one of my favorite and actually consistency helps. So we're just gonna get into that position, front leg all the weight on the front leg. You could lift your back leg off and not be unbalanced. Have the heel off the back foot and we're just gonna put the, so the hip and the shoulder are gonna move in unison and we're just gonna to try to move the hips into the thigh, yeah? And then back up. So I quite like to do this um, before and after a run. Gives a nice good stretch in the hip socket around the hip. Oops. We'll just do two more on this side and then the other side. So getting into the same position. Feels like it stretches the IT band. Crampy. <laughs> That's why I'm quiet. We'll do two more, one and two, great step. Okay, shake those legs up. We're gonna start with the anti-rotational dead bugs. So I'll show you. So today's session we'll end up doing less than we would normally um, because I'll go through each of the exercises as it's our first time with some of these exercises. It's not all, all of them aren't new, but some of them are. So it'll take a bit of time for me to explain might not see me on this one, I'll try and do it from the back. So you're going to be in the dead bug position for this one. You're going to hold the handles of your swimming crawlers from the side. So it's got like that, you're going to have, you're trying to resist the temptation to fall into that side. So you have to hold it. So get into that neutral pelvis position, legs up, and then I need to be closer, so I'm going to be about here. Okay, and you're going to hold that. You might want to hold it with one or two handles so you can feel the, the tension. And then you're going to either toe tap or legs out straight. 
and then back, but keeping the back on the floor the whole time. Sorry I have to do it that way for you to see. I hope you managed to see what I was doing. Okay, enough talking, let's do it. So we're doing three sets of 20 seconds. So I'm going in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, let's go. So obviously we're doing this one first, this side, and then we're gonna to have to change sides after the 20 seconds, so we'll alternate, yeah? Okay, so we're gonna rest, we'll turn around and we'll do it the other side. So the reason I didn't do it this side was I didn't think you'd see my leg. Right, so get into position. Three, two, one, let's go. and rest. rest there. So we'll swap sides again. Really important to keep that back and that neutral pelvis the whole way through. If you feel it pulling, your back pulling off the floor, three, two, one, let's go. Then don't do your legs out so straight if you've got your straight leg. So don't be afraid to regress if you need to, that's what I'm saying. Rest there. Swap sides. Oh no. Should I can't fast forward this. So we're we ready. Three, two, let's go. Keep going if you're on my timer. And rest there. Right, so we have two more. I'm hoping you can feel that now. I can. Okay, ready? Let's go. So this is the final one. You might not get all the exercises done today. Keep going, five seconds. And rest there. One more, isn't it? So final side. You ready? Let's go. And rest there, well done. Okay, so we've got to have a little bit extra time here just to catch up on the time. And I'll explain, oh well, the bear walk. So we've done the bear walk before. Last time we did it round in a circle. <coughs> this time we're gonna be walking backwards and forwards. If you had weight, then use the same weight that you used as you were going round. So we're gonna lift the knees off the floor in this quadruped position. I'm just gonna walk forwards like so, little steps and then back. And that is enough without the resistance, but if you want to, last time we had a little weight on our backs and then I used my weighted vest. So I'm gonna to attempt to use that this time. We've got four seconds, three, two, one, let's go. So 20 seconds, forward walking, Forward back, backward walking, <laughs> forward backward. Keeping those knees two to three inches off the floor, that's all. And rest there. Whew. That's the first set, we've got two more. Ready, let's go. 
If you've got further to walk than me, that's fine. <laughs> Not a Mine isn't very far. Oof, and rest there. Feel that stomach. Feel the shoulders. One more rep of these. Three, two, one, let's go. So keep those knees off the floor, but not too high. So you don't want them coming too high off the floor. And rest there. Oof, yes, with a little bit of weight, that was Okay, so moving on to what's called the mountain climber Turkish bridge. So you can start either as close to your knees as possible, so this is the, the easier kind of way, keeping them close, and we're just going to bring the knee into the elbow and then roll over into a bridge and then back. So knee to elbow, bridge up. Hips up. If you want to make that more tricky, go into the plank position. I'll do it from the other side. So bring the knee to the elbow, roll over onto your side, and then into a bridge, and then back. Like so. Okay, I hope you've got that. Let's get ready. We've got three sets of 20 seconds of those. Are we ready? Five, four. Three, two, one, let's go. So we'll do one side and then the other. Uh, sorry, so the whole one side on for the whole 20 seconds, yeah? And then 20 seconds on the other side. Rest there. So you can feel that all over your shoulders, your back, your Abdomen, uh, abdominals even. Ready? Let's go. Other side this time. And then your legs, your glutes, all working hard here. And rest there. And into the other side now. So this is second set. Three, two, one. Let's go. If you find this tricky, then do it on an elevated, um, like a bench or something. And you could, if you wanted to, do it on your elbows. And rest there. So if your hands or um, wrists are hurting, then you can always do it down on your elbows, but on an elevated box or chair. Okay, if you're finding it quite demanding on the wrists. We're going to have an extra little 15 seconds rest here, and then we're going to do three more. So other side this time. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. And rest there. Nice and controlled. Feel that in the back as well, working hard. Whew. Right, back onto the other side now, last set. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. And rest there. One more. Other 
side. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Right. And rest there. Well done, everybody. I'm hoping that you've got that one. Okay, side plank now with the row. So we're going to be facing our angle points, keeping the cords in the door the same place as they were before. You might want to turn your mat around. I've got 10 exercises, but we're doing both sides, so it's taking quite some time. So we will get through them all, obviously. All right, so we're going to do side plank facing the angle point. I'm going to be further back on this one. So just get yourself sort of in a position and then you're going to row. So we've done these before many years ago now, but row like so. <laughs> so you can obviously do that side plank with your knee on the floor, elevated and so on. Right, hoping that everyone got that. Are we ready? We're going in two seconds. One, let's go. So side plank or row. Twenty seconds. And rest. Let's go on to the other side. Still facing the anchor point, yeah. Going in five, three, two. Let's go. So keeping the body still, that body should not be rolling from side to side, that should be kept still. Hold the resistance band in that row position. Oof, and rest there. Other side. Gonna skip a few. Oh, ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Make sure that elbow is below the shoulder. That your head is in a neutral position. I have a tendency of looking down, which isn't good because it puts your spine out of position. So keeping that neck in line with this, the rest of the spine. Stop there, by the way. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right, we're going to have a little rest, then we're going to do that side, and then two more, yeah? Ready. We're going in 10 seconds. So this is the final of the second set. Three, two, one. Let's go. So with this, you can, to get more resistance, just move further away from the anchor point. Have two handles. See, I've only got one. And rest there, because two is like trying to move a brick wall for me, so it's pointless. Right, so we're going back onto the side. This is the final set. Three, two, one. Let's go. Keep everything in line. Keep the hips up. Hold that row. And rest there. Swap sides. I think 20 seconds for the first time is definitely enough. Okay, so final one of this one. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Oof. 
and rest there. Well done, pretty good. Okay, we will move on to the glute bridge on the ball. So grab your Swiss ball if it's handy. You can do this just on the floor or on a bench. Um, if you don't have your Swiss ball handy or you don't have it just yet. So if I can quickly show you what we're doing before we go. So you're trying to keep the ball st still. You're putting your ankles on there. Then you're just going to lift your hips up off the floor and then back down. So it's a glute bridge, squeeze your glutes and lower, but try to keep everything still so you'll see my feet shaking there. All right, are you ready? We've got six seconds. So three of these. And one, and let's go. So you might feel your hamstrings, your glutes, it's all working here. And then lower up, point you on your posterior chain. Oh, really working. Your ankles and rest there. Your calves are even being involved in this. But I feel my hamstrings wanting to get over the ball a bit more. Right, are we ready? Let's go back up. So trying to keep my feet on the floor, on the ball, rather than just my heels. If I'm just putting my heels on, I use my hamstrings a bit more. Rest there. It's like the hamstring heels, I find them really hard. I don't think other people do, I don't know what it is. Right, ready, last one. might be because I've been for a run. That might be it. There's no harm. Okay, rest there. So the idea is if you have a nice straight line from your knee to to like well through to your shoulders really. Um I don't think I was getting that then. Not today, maybe another day. Right, something to work on anyway. Right, Ben. Oh, we need that. We need the ball. Keep it. We're going to do press-ups on the ball. When I say on the ball, I mean your feet are going to be on the ball. Your hands are going to be on the floor. Okay. So, I'll quickly show you. <coughs> so, in this position, and down. If you need to be lifted up at the front, that's fine. Perfectly acceptable. Okay, are we ready? We're gonna go. Three, two, one, let's go. We've done these before. I know some of them, some of the regulars are going, yes. Done these. So you can have a wide arm, wide hand, or an arrow, depending on what you want to particularly work on. Rest there. For me, it's uh, just maybe managing them so um i couldn't do a narrow one they're too too hard for me at the moment three two one let's go this is going to be our last exercise just by looking at that time very briefly Rest there. OMG. We're going to do one more. If you need to go, then um, I'm very sorry. Do cool down and go. We're going to do one more of these and then we will cool down. If you can stay with me. And rest there. Well done. Wow. Okay, well, let's hope you got a bit of a workout of those exercises, but not too heavy if it was your first day. Apologise for those who have come for their first one today. 
Right, reach those hands out, bottom in the air, and just get a nice stretch under the armpit, through the chest. Keep the head on the floor. Deep breath in. And release. Deep breath in. And release. We'll do one more deep breath. Right now, whilst we're here, we're going to walk those hands out to the side and just get a stretch down the side of the body. Deep breath in again. So again, and back to centre and then walk those hands to the other side as well. Deep breath in. Okay, and then back to centre. If we go down into that sphinx pose, just get a stretch of the stomach in the front there. Head up. And you'll feel, so you'll feel the stretch in that stomach, maybe a little bit in the lower back. Okay, and then lower that chest to the floor. Hands out to the side and we'll just stretch the the pec area so roll onto your side so your hands can be either straight bent at an angle and then just roll onto your side and you'll feel that stretch around the kind of the shoulder area the pecs under the arm pit it's a good stretch once you've done those Press ups anyway. Okay, back to centre and we'll just stretch the other side. So same on the other side. Three deep breaths in. Three, two, one. Okay, and back to centre. And we will roll up today. So if we get into that ragdoll position. Feet shoulder width apart or hip width apart. Slight bend in your knees, push the bottom back. And we'll just, you can grab hold of your shoulders and just um, slide from one side to the other. Feeling that in the lower back, really nice. Okay, shake those arms and then we'll roll up. Stack in the vertebrae, one at a time. As you stand, take a deep breath in, hands to see and release. Well done everybody, good first session back. I hope that you're not too stiff tomorrow. <laughs> see you all on Wednesday, bye.